What's going on you guys, Sam Burr here, welcome back. Now finally, we're going to be working on all of this traffic coming through here. Now this is a longer video, so I'm actually going to split it into two parts. The second part will be all about the time traffic lights, so a lot to do, let's get into it. So last episode we built this area and I didn't manage anything at all. So we're going to start off the video with a bit of a, a uh, speed build and then towards probably seven minutes in we'll actually cut to live in-game stuff and I'll show you guys some things that I did off camera. We'll fix some other things on camera but first we're going to start with a bit of a speed build because there's a lot of tweaking that I had to do. This was one of the main issues here. So if you look how the trucks come in and they're crisscrossing when they go into the actual um, the terminal there. So when they criss crisscross over like that, that's what's really slowing down the traffic, the traffic. And then all of that traffic is backing up all the way through the whole harbour and then it's going back onto the highway. So that's really not good at all. So that's one of the main spots that needs to be really fixed up. You can also see both intersections here, this one and this one here are quite busy. So we'll need to do something to fix those up. What are we going to do? Well, we are going to do a bit of a elevated road here. So we have the traffic that comes into that cruise, uh, not the cruise, the, the, the target the cargo terminal it's actually crisscrossing over so we're going to make an elevated road for them to come in and out which doesn't crisscross at all because crisscrossing obviously is going to create a lot of waiting time and for these cargo terminals we, we really need them to go in and out as quick as possible and by doing this little elevated road here it bypasses a couple of intersections it bypasses traffic lights and it really just makes it easier for them to go straight in and straight out but I was having a little bit of trouble here I've actually built this before on the map I built it in the island city El Samir, I believe, yeah, that El Samir. Um, so I built it over there on a, cu a curvy one, if you guys remember. Um, but we're also, I'm also going to leave the entry point here. So you can see we've got the entry point on the ground, which comes in. And I did a little switch around because it just wasn't the right way. So it's going to, they're still going to come in, but then when they exit, they'll, they'll exit onto the elevated road here. And so by doing that, they bypass the intersection where all of the trucks are coming in. Um, there still will be options for them to turn around there's still that will be options for other vehicles to come from the elevated road into the ship area uh, you guys will see that in a second but just by doing it like this you can see as soon as i press play it's so much better it makes such a big difference just raising it up like that and it is a double road meaning there's cars that can go on either way so we've got the elevated road for them to exit and then we need to make it so they can enter back in so the entry road is just going to go into this spot right here it's going to merge onto where all those trucks are waiting on the left side they're just going to go in there it creates a little, little bit of traffic there just because it's two lots of big groups of traffic trying to merge together but there's not really too much we can do about it but by doing it this way it just works a lot better with the terminal just how the terminal works how they go in and out they go in from the left side and then out from the right side so you have to make sure that the trucks can just go in and out going in the same direction otherwise it's just really not going to work So this is where they will merge in straight in there and like i said there's a little bit of waiting time just because there's a lot of traffic there but there's not really much we can do about that one there's naturally going to be waiting times in this spot anyway but at least once they get loaded up or unload whatever they're doing they can get onto the elevated road here and just pretty much zoom straight out and i made sure that they have a pretty easy option a pretty op easy way to leave they go straight up the main road turn left turn right and then they're on the highway or they can go can they can can continue straight ahead underneath the highway and go into the cities or they can go to the warehouses a lot of them are going to the warehouses as well so that's another area that we will fix up 
Also underneath this elevated road right here, I do put back the original road which went from left to right, uh, but it doesn't get used too much which is actually quite good, but beforehand it was actually really just not it wasn't a good design just because there's too many hard intersections there's too much crisscrossing but by doing this elevated road here it makes everything run a lot smoother Alright you guys, so that's pretty much it for the speed builds. I really just wanted to jump in. Now at this point here, it has been a good hour or so that I did some work off camera because it was getting very fiddly, uh, in particular with the time traffic lights, which I will go through what I found to be the best option. But before we get to the time traffic lights, we'll, we'll finish that. We'll finish the video with that because it is kind of technical and I feel like after that you guys will be like, oof. That's enough. So, what have I done off camera? Well, I have to go through and find everything first of all, but um, a lot of traffic was coming off here. It, it alternates between this exit and this one over here. It alternates between, I don't really know why, but it does. So, at the moment, this is pretty clear and there really isn't any traffic coming along here. It's pretty dead over here. So I remove the traffic lights from here, which allows them to go straight here. And I also put in four lanes here because then it allows us to have designated turning lanes in for either side because beforehand, um, there was a lot of waiting time here. There was a lot of, I don't know, it was just waiting for no reason so they have these designated turning lanes now which is going to be really useful and it really allows them to glide straight through it just means these guys over here have to wait a little bit longer but they'll they'll be all right <laughs> uh, i also added in little lanes up through here this isn't really relevant to fixing it all, all up but it's just it just gives them an extra option there's one on this side here as well and there's three lanes going through because you have to remember this is like a big roundabout well a square about it goes around here where is it here this one right here so this is obviously the main road in so when they come off the highway they have the priority here and all I did to do that was I actually turned off the traffic lights here and just made these guys over here give way so these trucks coming off the highway they can go straight in and like I said it alternates between this one and this one over here so sometimes there's a lot of traffic over here sometimes there isn't so there really isn't too much of an issue for these trucks from this point here trying to go through here it really isn't too much of an issue like if we just wait here and have a look you can see we've got a good amount of traffic coming off the highway but these trucks really aren't waiting too long and it's really not disrupting either one so i think we can get away with not having a traffic light there so they'll they'll come in here no traffic light here because really there isn't much traffic going across uh, if there is, of course, we can do traffic lights here and give this part right here the priority, but it's all right at the moment. So they will come in here and they can go either straight ahead, which takes them around into these two. This one says it's disconnected, but it's still working. So they'll come up here straight in, or they can go here and turn off, which you guys saw in the speed build. They'll come around here. And this is what I was talking about with the crisscrossing. They come around here, they go in, and then they go back out. Whereas before it was going this way, and then these guys were kind of going, trying to go in here. These ones were trying to go around there. So there was a lot of crisscrossing happening, which was making a lot of traffic issues. So at this point, it's flowing pretty well, except for this point, but we can't really change that too much. And this one over here also fluctuates. At the moment, there's not really much happening, maybe because that one is disconnected. I don't know if I can... Oh, there's a ship there anyway. So I think that's all right. We've got one. 
there'll probably be an influx but anyway they will come up here straight up here and they have the right of way so they can go around here this little lane here they have to give way to these bits of traffic here these ones will come along here and they usually just go straight up here and straight off the highway straight onto the highway sorry so it's pretty it's pretty easy like there really isn't too much traffic through here and I think that's why it works anyway so when they come off this part right here they'll come around here and it's just a straight road I hate this but I had no other option because I wanted to use the four lanes here four lanes on this side in particular because we I wanted to use this left lane here as a turning lane to go left and I wanted to give them enough space between the cars coming off the elevated part here and the cars coming off the ground point right here I needed to give them enough room to cr like crisscross change lanes and I think four lanes is more than enough and I also gave them their own turning lane around here turning lane here because before I was making them wait at the traffic light to turn left and it was just taking too long um, and then if they want to go off the highway this is the way to go they go straight up here and there's traffic light there I didn't manage those and they'll go straight up on to there I also just oops I also changed these points right here so they can only come out and go left these ones can't go into here because they were kind of crossing over crisscrossing over which was causing traffic to wait here and backing up down into here so we don't want that and then what else what else ah yes also over here this was a huge issue this was a really fix a really easy fix all i did was just add this extra lane coming down here because before the only entry point was going up in here and then straight back out and it just wasn't working so having this one here really just allowed everything to flow so much easier they can just go straight in and then straight back out down here now we're getting close to the time traffic lights but we're not going to go there just yet another thing that i changed was this one over here there often like i said this it all fluctuates through here so sometimes it looks like it's a bit of a ghost town kind of like right now and then other times it really really builds up and it gets really really feral what was happening was at the start of the video i showed you guys this point right here this traffic was actually backing up all the way over to here believe it or not all because they had to go through here which is slow but then they were coming down here and of course they were meeting all of the other traffic that was backing up and but there was a lot of truck traffic so what i've done is just added in an extra two lanes so these two outer lanes are just for trucks and since we have so many trucks coming in now i think it's good to have this long designated lane area just for trucks which then allows all of the other traffic to still continue by without having to interact with all of the other truck traffic originally all of the, the truck traffic was just mixing in with the other traffic and it was just it was just causing a big issue and it really just wasn't working um, but doing it like this giving them their own designated lanes with more than enough space that's six lanes there i'm pretty sure one two three four five six yeah that really really helps i think that's the other th i think that that's all i think that's all of the fixes besides the traffic lights really the main two issue points was this one right here which i changed around and added the extra lane and also since we've added this lane it allows this traffic to flow straight straight up in there because before this traffic here was mixing in with this traffic here at this point and it really was it was really really messy and i think it looks really cool having this elevated one all right you guys let's leave this episode here so in the next episode uh we'll come back very very soon and i'll go through how i managed all of the time traffic lights it is quite technical and it is kind of overwhelming so that's why i'm going to be putting it into a whole other video because it, it is quite a process and it does take quite some time but definitely check that out it'll be up very very soon and uh, thank you guys for watching